Hello everyone and welcome back to Stellaris and to us successfully acquiring new technology. The antimatter, um, oh sorry, antimatter power, uh, I guess antimatter reactor is what I was thinking of. Uh, by harnessing the energy produced by matter-antimatter annihilations, our efficiency at generating power will be orders of magnitude better than fusion. Fantastic. Uh, let's have a quick look at the lowest amount. It generates 25 power. That is very, very nice indeed. We could go for the physics labs, or we could get zero-point reactors. These reactors extract vacuum energy, providing an almost limitless supply of power. There is no more efficient way to generate energy. Ooh, that is really tempting, because you say there's no better way than this. I mean, can I really turn that down? Um, I mean, yes, of course I could. I'm not going to because I believe that zero point reactors or rather zero point power is a prerequisite for a couple of uh, later things, some very, very important later things. So yes, we're going to pick you up. Let's go with that. Let's grab you and put, uh, pop you on to, uh, to stew. It's going to take 73 months. Now, in terms of traditions, we've only got 15 months before we get our next tradition, and I haven't really made a decision yet on where we're going, but I'm fancying hmm, 15 months. Maybe. Maybe we will go for domination, given what we're going for right now. It's possible definitely a possibility uh in the meantime however let's quickly go and check on our ships and just make sure that everything has been updated now a couple of people have been saying well if i'm renaming all of my designs it will never have a new version you are quite correct quite quite correct i'm being a massive dip uh what we've likely got is a set of ships that only have one type of yeah only one type of cruiser one type of destroyer one type of corvette well that is a little bit denying isn't it uh all right well there's not much we can do about that right now but we are gonna have to bear that in mind in the future i will Try and be, uh, keep that in mind and when we update our ship designs, which for example should have already happened So these will all now be using um, Antimatter we're generating a little bit of extra power. Have we got anything new that I could pop in there. No, we, we really don't uh, Is there anything better I could put in here? No, there really isn't uh, How about anything which is using Well much more power than it needs if I pop a medium shield in here. How much power does it require? Power usage is only 10, but I would lose 50 power, so no, we can't do that. What about the others? You've only got 25, you've got 35, uh, you've got 65, we would lose 50. Hmm, I believe there is a possibility that we could actually pop this in there and still be plus on power. Yes, yes, we would be. Huh, interesting. Certainly interesting. Let's go ahead and save that. The design with that name already exists. Do you want to overwrite the current design? Yes. It's not going to change the mark, though. And and that really does frustrate me. Because I really prefer that. But, uh, well, what can you do? Let's go ahead, pop that in there. Should be left with a bit of uh, free power. Good. Bone Dragon. Yeah, you're going to get an overwrite. I know, it sucks. Uh, what kind of weapons have we got here? Pretty much all the best. We've got way more power than we possibly need. Let's just have a quick look. This generates a, ha a hundred, and this consumes twenty. So we can easily afford to do that. There we go. That gives us a lot of extra shields. Well, actually, does it, though? Does it really? It gives us an extra hundred and twenty. Whereas this would give me, let's have a quick look. That would give me an extra, uh, sorry, uh, is it five? Yeah, five percent on armor. Hmm. It's a tricky one. I think we will actually go with the shields though. So we'll just go ahead and we'll save this design. And the gun aside, once again, exactly the same thing. 
we're going to go ahead and reposition that. Oh, no, we cannot, apparently. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Very well. Let me just make sure that all of these are upgraded. Yes, they have all been upgraded. What about you? Yes. Uh, all right. Well, given that, then... Uh, this is... Oh, of course, it's generating 100 power, and we've only got 85 spare. Uh, derpy Avak is derpy. And over here, we've got even less to spare. Very well. That's that's fine for the time being. I think we should be okay. All right. Well, let's get the fleet upgrading, please. Just go ahead and upgrade the entire fleet. And we'll bear in mind that we need to uh, do a little bit of extra work going forward. Now, with all of this upgraded... Ooh. A large portion of asteroid X44D1 has been hollowed out to allow for the construction of some kind of shipyard. It has been abandoned and exposed to the vacuum of space for centuries. If anything useful remained, it has already been looted by previous explorers. The design of the shipyard itself is unique, however, and much could probably be learned by its study. Construction. Oh, fantastic. I'm pleased by this. Uh, there we are. A new wormhole station has been constructed. That is grand. Systems grand, grand, grand. Complete. Okay, more systems being surveyed. Construction complete. Well done. Uh, what did you build there? Oh, no, they're finishing their, their construction queues. And we've just increased our armada. Glorious. Now then, atmospheric manipulation. We, ooh, wait a second. Organic probability theory. This is something new. Or at least something I haven't seen before. Produces 10 energy. Empire Modifier, energy credits plus 10% across the whole en empire, my lord. This exceedingly powerful AI construct is constantly running advanced mathematical simulations in a vain attempt to predict the future actions of organic societies. It has proven adept at anticipating developments on their stack, uh, stock markets, however. Okay, well, uh, crack on, I think, obviously. As much as I wanted some of the other stuff that was available there, that is way too useful. Way, way, way too useful for, for us. Okay, and carry on. Uh, as soon as the fleet has Anomalous finished upgrading. Uh, the sensor profile of a mid-sized vessel was briefly detected inside the upper atmosphere of this gas giant. Crack on. Construction complete. There we go. Some more things being completed. We have received communication from a previous unknown spacefaring empire that called themselves the Zrakon Star uh, Polity. They claim to have learned of our existence by listening in on the communication of another empire we are in contact with. Interesting. Warlord Kuddad sends regards from the ruling council of the Zarkon Star Polity. We hope for a productive relationship with your people, but be warned that our military will respond to any transgression near our space with maximum force. Join us. You gotta, you gotta draw out the S, otherwise you just don't create the right kind of feeling there. Uh, they are equivalent to us, which is quite sad. Has a defense pact with an unnamed empire, trade treaty with an unnamed empire, has trade deals with unidentified empires. Hmm. Well, and good. Very and good indeed. Uh, right, I would like to actually talk with you. There is much that you do not yet know, Unity Jack. Please. Let us educate you about the universe. Uh, we're interested in... Uh, well, actually, the curators are already improving our research capabilities. Can I get it from a different one? For example, you... Can you help us? Oh, uh, scallywags. Well, um... That wouldn't be too bad. The curators are very good scientists, but at the same time, not strictly the best for us, really. I really would like to start cracking heads here. Borders are closed. Uh, well, yes, of course, that makes sense. Uh, I should have closed mine if they're not already closed. Uh, close borders. There we are. Confirm. I have no interest. In fact, let's have a quick look. Where are you? You're, you're quite large, actually. Um, but you're very far away. I am going to declare you a rival. Let's declare rivalry. There we go. We'll generate a little bit of influence from doing that. Which is much more interesting to me. Much more interesting to me. There we are. System right. survey complete. Okay, well done. Rivalry. Yes, they've declared rivalry. That does not surprise me in the least little way. Now, question is... 
how long is it going to take for us to finish upgrading this fleet? We've got a little bit of extra room there now. Um, let's have a quick look at you. You're set up to build us cruisers. Currently, I believe our fleet is made up almost entirely of... Uh, Oblitus class cruisers. So, we need to diversify the fleet somewhat. Could you please make me a, a bone dragon, I guess? We should be able to get another one going fairly soon, actually. Let's get a second one going. Gas giant ship. Active scans of Zamartron 3 have picked up what appears to be a large ship deep inside the atmosphere of the gas giant. Judging by the nearby debris, there have been several failed attempts uh, to salvage that's derelict in the past. Any ship strong enough to withstand such crushing gravity must be a magnificent prize. Bring it up, whatever it is. Situation Do this now. Alright, go to... I need a scientist with skill 3 or higher. What level of you? You're... Well, Deus, you're more than a match for that one, I feel. More than a match. I wouldn't mind dropping down another wormhole down here somewhere. I wouldn't mind... Well, no, actually, I don't care to claim you. Don't care to claim you at all. But getting some extra stuff down there, some anomalies there that we can go and have a look at. I wouldn't mind expanding our reach around here at some point. What are you currently working on? And what about you? And what about you? Okay, well, after you've done all of that, I want you to build a... Actually, we could pop a wormhole right here. That would not be a bad idea, considering. Well, once you've done all of that, go and get me a wormhole right there. Since it is within our territory that way, I, I know we could push it further out, but uh, humor me. Alright, there we go. Ship All right. Fantastic. I am pleased. Ooh, technology Anomalous research. Okay, hang on a second. Uh, scans indicate the presence of a foreign alien made object on one of Clear Six's many frozen mountaintops. Research it, please. Right, we've got advanced afterburners. Marvelous. New research, please. Ooh. Uh, explosive weapon damage plus 15%. Now, now we're getting to some really nice stuff. Um, Granthium mining. Ship hull points plus 10%. This ore can be refined into a metal that is both very malleable and durable. It is an excellent material used for the construction of ships. Uh, there are many different strategic resources, usually uncovered by researching technologies. Having access to particular strategic resources will usually grant your empire-wide bonuses. You only need access to a single unit of strategic resource for its full benefits. And then we've got this one. Aurelium is a very dense and unstable element that can be used for powerful explosives. Well, it's clear to me that we want one of these two, really. The Durasteel armor would not be a, a bad get, but... And also the Devastator torpedoes would be glorious. However... Hull point, staying power or more destruction. Well, they do say the, the best defense is a strong offense. You're basically trying to solve the equation of how can we win from different sides. The equal point is in the middle. The question is, how do we win? You can solve it by manipulating the left side of the equation, which is outliving your opponent, or you can solve it by manipulating the right side of the equation, which is killing your opponent faster. Both say the same thing, but in different ways. And 15% extra damage... This will only really benefit my larger ships, but this will benefit all of my ships. So I'm going to go with that one. Uh, let's get that on the go, please. That seems like the best possible course of action for us. Right, now that we have you, we've got a little bit of extra room here. Shall we go ahead? What kind of battleships have we are we currently fielding? I think it's all Doniger. Not that I don't mind. Um... The USS Heart of Gold has recovered an elongated metal box from the surface of Clear 6. Clusters of small perforations on five sides lead the science officer of Research Bot 2 to believe it is not a container, but some sort of aerosol dispersal device. Research Bot 2 clearly hasn't uh, uh, cross referenced this design with a design of another sim similar d design that we had in the archives. Uh, oh, dear me. Really? Uh, Malodorous, indeed. Such we'll do it anyway just because we'll get something out of it, but it, I always feel a little bit sad about for whichever scientist I am forcing to have to do this particular research project. 
Yes, you can spend the next little while smelling alien burps or whatever other kind of odor they produce. Uh, right, we're gonna need... The... Yeah, there we go. Gun aside, let's get that on the go. Oh, hang on a second there. Fleet order cancelled. Unable to build a research station. Resources have been refu uh, refunded. Oh. Why? What happened? Hmm. Something happened. Our borders must have changed just slightly. That is... Ungood. Uh, possibly the... The, the gunner side that I told to be built, it, it is possible that is what just threw it off. Oh well. Now then, expansion would give us colony development speed. The only thing that I'm really interested in here is this. The frontier outposts cost 50% less. That's a big thing for us. New colonies and, and all of this sort of stuff, mm, I'm not sure. I mean, that wouldn't be terrible, but I'm not particularly uh, first on it. Domination. Adopting all domination traditions will mean that technology is shared between us and our vassals. Any technology that another party does ha uh, does not have will receive a 30% research speed bonus. In addition, we will unlock one ascension perk. But, well, the ascension perk isn't really as important. Our unity output is increased by 5% per subject, up to a maximum of 30%. Every vassal increases our naval capacity by an amount equal to 50% of theirs. Income from tributaries is increased by 50%. Uh, governor leader count that would be useful and subject opinion increased by 20 and trust cap increased by 50 alternatively robot build speed goes up we can increase our monthly influence by one long term machine leaders are 50 percent less likely to suffer breakdowns and accidents building build speed is increased um and rest is reduced by 20 percent on our plans that's completely useless to us unlocks the building the neuroelectric amplifier now that might be useful i'm not sure while in a defensive war with another empire, ship build speed is increased by 33%. See, most of those aren't that interesting. I think it's going to be domination. We're going to pick up domination. Let's go for that. There we go. All right. So, with that, the war demand cost to subjugate other empires is reduced by 25%. And we get plus 20 to acceptance when diplomatically subjugating other empires. Very well. Uh, construction, Avax is finished its construction queue. Spaceport there has finished its construction. Well done. Uh, we're going to wait for our new ship and then we're going to launch an attack. Complete. In a masterful display of engineering, the team under science officer Deus has managed to gently raise the derelict ship on the Zamaton 3 through the gas giant's upper atmosphere. Despite its age, the ancient cruiser is remarkab in remarkably good condition, and we have restored power to its systems. No trace of the original crew remains, but we have brought over our own and commissioned the ship into the fleet. Excellent. Special project. Marvellous. Uh, whiff of something. The box is indeed a document of a sort. Science Officer Research Bot 2 admits that they had been hoping for a historical record or some other kind of codex significant to whatever culture left behind but they were disappointed yes yes they are but uh it's okay things could have been a lot worse right could you go and orbit there and you can join the fleet momentarily we are now unfortunately over our naval capacity successful. which is a pain right we have now discovered this new resource wherever it may be have a look at what else we can do. We can unlock the impulse thruster, the rail gun, complete. the ripper auto cannon. Ooh. Now the ripper auto cannon too is tempting. This is very tempting. But hmm. I think we're gonna stick it out a little longer. For now, I'd like to learn to upgrade our mineral processing plants, please. Now, to scour our space for that new resource. We've got one of them there. But where is the latest one? Is it on any of my planets currently? I'm not sure. Let's have a quick look. Strategic resources. No, we don't have it yet. We need to find somebody that does. Very well. Uh, annoying, but uh, if we have a look at the planets and sectors, or actually um, expansion planner, let's have a look at strategic resources. Okay. Oh, well, that's a Gaia world. Of course, he's going to have loads of awesome things. Sure, I'll have a quick glance at you then, I suppose. What have you got? Uh, two things that I don't 
don't care too much about. You've got one thing I don't care too much about. I mean, I, I do care about it, don't get me wrong. But it's not a, a huge, a hugely important thing to me. Alright, well, I think that you two can join together. Let's merge those fleets. There we are. And Avakis is almost finished creating our latest complete. battleship. Now we are way over this, unfortunately. But that's just going to have to be the way it goes. All right, let's get out there and crack this nut, shall we? Okay. More places can't be gotten to, unfortunately, because they're, they're expanding. And not liking that at all. Not liking it at all. Uh, at the meanwhile, then, let's have a look around these areas. Anywhere I particularly want to get in there. We should really be colonizing these planets, ultimately. They're important enough for us to do. Uh, let's get over here. Are we not gathering from... Oh, no, we are gathering from that. And what are we not gathering from? Hmm. There's four energy. Oh, I was looking in the wrong place. That would be why. Uh, yeah, we need to colonize that one as well. I'm fairly certain all of those will be uh, things that we need to colonize at some point. Let's just get down here, build research stations after that, and then head on down here, build mining stations, and then research stations as well, please. Let's get those going. Now then, let's have a watch of how this fleet manages. Hostile fleet present. Uh, oh yes, well, that would make sense. We've just entered their, their area. Alright, let's see. Go for this one first, please. And Draken Sang has completed the construction of a wormhole station. Well done. Oh, you're actually finished with all of that. Marvellous. Let's get you gathering mining stations, then research, mining, mining, uh, we'll leave the habitable systems for now, and I'll decide on those later. All right, let's get back in here and have a watch of this fight. Hostile fleet assets. In Good. Launch everything. Let's have a watch of how this goes down. There we are. I believe these are our fighter squads and bomber squads heading out. Glorious. We're taking them down quite quickly. More are being launched all the time. It's already down to 1.3. We've lost a little bit over there. Okay, we've just lost a good chunk. We lost um, 0.2 thousand down by a lot now. But we've almost wiped out an entire group. Well done. Moving on to the next. For the most part, I think this fleet is going to be able to handle this entirely. But we are going to take you know, some decent losses here whilst doing so. Uh, let's have a look. I imagine, yeah, it's mostly our destroyers and our corvettes that are that are taking the damage here, and that's, to be perfectly honest, not a bad deal for us, because we can then rebuild them into uh, different um, classes. Really, that was a massive oversight on my part. I, I seem to recall remem uh, learning that in the first Alaris series that I played, but it's been so long since I played and since that series that I completely forgot that lesson. Really quite derpy, but oh well. Uh, there we go. Yes, we've lost about 3,000 power in total, and in total they've lost about four. Still, we're massive compared to their fleet, so let's get right in there and see how uh, our fighters are doing. Not too bad, I would say. Not too bad at all, actually. I'm liking it. Yeah, now that the difference is, is uh, broadening the, the gulf between our respective powers, our losses are going down a lot. Now, that is going to change massively in the upcoming patch. And whilst it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt us a little bit, it's going to, in a very big way, change the way the Doom stacks currently operate. And that is going to be a huge thing for us. Actually, you know what? Head back first. Let's not just go straight into this fight before we need to. That is a big, big um, objective there. We need to recall briefly, get our worlds in full production. Let's have a look. Your corvette and destroyers and currently 
I believe in terms of our... Oh, actually, we we have virtually no destroyers or corvettes left. Wow. All right, then. Uh, let's review our designs quickly. So, in terms of the corvettes, we've got the Rossinate, the Del Curos, uh, and the Panthera. The Rossinate is a missile and torpedo boat. The Del Curos is purely a missile boat. And the Panthera is an energy weapon um, uh, corvette. I'm thinking we may want to swap that over to either auto cannons or coil guns. I mean, these do a lot of damage to shields, but... Plus 33 shield damage there. I mean, I'm thinking actually... Yeah, we're going to swap it out for the auto cannons. Gonna go all auto cannons there and then save over. There we go. Marvelous. And in terms of the Kraken, got swarm missiles and regular missiles there. We have got energy and coil guns. And then we've got ripper auto cannons and swarm missiles. So it's a bit of a bit of a mixture. Bit of a mixture. Alright, Midos. I would like a good number of these. So let's say Let's add five there. Five Panthera and five Del Curos. Uh, Morovia, I believe you can also make me destroyers. Uh, I would like that, actually. Could you make me one of each? Uh, okay, well, we're going to be waiting a little bit to get all of that done, but uh, it shouldn't take us over long. acquisition successful. There we are. Marvellous. Right, let's have a quick look in here then. Now we can upgrade the Whirlwind Missile. Go for better armor. We can get Marauder Missiles. Or we can reveal a new resource. And I think revealing a new resource is a, a bigger priority for me at the moment. Now, are there any planets with things that I should be upgrading? There are probably a few as it happens have a look through them okay what do we want here it's going to be physics well actually no let's let's build to your strength engineering there there we go now my construction ship is currently doing nothing which is not good uh, what can we build in here since I don't want you ruining any planets that I... Well, actually, am I going to... No, I'm not going to be building anything here, so uh, just go ahead and build everything you can, frankly. We'll get everything else sorted shortly. There we go. It's been repaired. Oh, dear. <gasps> okay, let's go. The science ship USS Heart of Gold has encountered a hostile Spectre fleet in Trabur and is currently attempting to evade them. A Spectre fleet? Previously encountered hostiles in this system. Research part two. No! The Heart of Gold is gone! Oh, rip. Rip Heart of Gold. You will be missed. I might need to send this entire fleet out there right now. Let's go. Go find them. Destroy whatever it was. A Spectre fleet. How ominous. Construction complete. Okay, let's have a look at this. Wraith. Uh, let's go in. Okay. This is a redonkulously powerful entity. An estimate of combined offensive... <laughs> it's just, just a massive skull. Uh, I don't think we actually want to fight that right now. I, as it happens, no. That's a Leviathan. So, yeah. Bail out right now if you can, please. Leave it alone. There's not a lot we can do against the roaming... No, what? Acquisition successful. What? No, no, you need to not be there. Leave. Uh, okay, they're just following. Okay, we've got our new research. <laughs> Damn it! Research bot 2! Why? Uh, we could get more minerals wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, that being said... 
Mm, the next railgun upgrade wouldn't be a bad idea either. Sure, okay, let's uh, go for that. But uh, that was deeply upsetting. Deeply upsetting. Could you please go and orbit? There we go, and that should uh, do us well for now. Red, Red Dwarf, what are you up to? Uh, I kind of don't want you to die, but at the same time... Go ahead and poke your head around. Try to avoid being killed. Scientist Teach has leveled, leveled up. Well done, you. Okay. Well, could have been worse. Construction complete. Well done. Could you please build all the mining stations now? There we are. Following a long period of growing support for the Wraith, uh, Wealth Promotion Party, the Quavarian Coalition has finally embraced the faction, adopting their core values and politi uh, policies. As a result of bringing this faction into the government, they have become more outwardly pacifistic. Technological acquisition huh. successful. Interesting timing on that. Okay, the probability engine. The question is, where am I going to build that? We can get leader capacity, maximum influence from factions. Doesn't really bother us too much. Ship upgrade costs down. Edict costs down. Habitability up. Eh, none of these really matter to me. Construction. <sighs> uh, we are receiving a weak signal from the surface of this planet. Sure, go ahead and research it. We'll reduce the ship upgrade costs because that's something that I actually do a lot of. And railguns are already researched. Glorious. We can now look into a couple of other things. A flak battery. Now then. This is actually quite a potent um, point defense. Sure. Start research on that right away. And while all that's going on, let's go and have a quick glance at our ship, shall we? Let's make sure that you're all fully upgraded. Anything that's using railguns. They're currently medium railgun three. Yeah. Everything seems to be in order, for the most part. Uh, actually, that being said, let me just have a double check. Now, one thing that we want to look at is the after, uh, sorry, the afterburners. We're on our advanced, okay. Sometimes it won't upgrade because the power you have is insufficient for that sort of thing. So it just won't upgrade at all. So it's always wise to have a quick, quick peek and make sure. All right, go ahead, build the mining station there, followed by a mining station over here. Now, we are really starting to butt heads down here. Not exactly the best of days. Uh, well, we've got a race, just... Ooh, what are you headed after this? No, just survey this system and don't go anywhere. Are you going to just destroy my, my wormhole? No, you're just wandering. Being incredibly annoying. Hmm. There is a way that we can deal with this. And that involves talking to the curators. Let's have a chat with you. Uh, we're interested in... Tell us the mysteries of the universe. There are exceedingly powerful entities lurking with, within certain star systems in our galaxy. At certain cost in both lives and resources... Uh, sorry, at great cost. The curator agents have painstakingly gathered knowledge that should make these beings easier to deal with the next time you encounter them. Okay, tell us about the race. Spectral wraiths are disturbing creatures, if they are creatures at all. We consider them a rare and extraordinarily efficient natural disaster. <laughs> yeah. Um, what do you know about these disasters? They appear to be illusions of light, but when you get close, it quickly grows apparent that they are far from illusory. Paradoxically, in that appearance lies the key to their defeat. Their relationship with the viable spectrum of light is their strength, but it diminishes when they approach a light source of a similar frequency. Pay close attention to the color of the wraith. So I imagine red lasers against the wraith is going to be the right one to do. What about red wraiths? Red wraiths have a frequency of 450 terahertz. Their light is synchronized with that of a class M star. Their ability to avoid conventional weaponry is weakened in systems with red dwarfs. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I see. Any systems nearby? No, all of these are quite bright. What about you? Well, no. Well, we would need to fight you over here then. That's annoying. But if I see you go there, that's when I need to strike. But that's quite interesting. 
quite interesting and also extremely frustrating. Right, well, let's get a couple of extra ships being made. Uh, sure, let's upgrade this and we'll take this one to a physics lab, I think. Also upgrade that. But what I'm really here for is getting a lot of destroyers. So let's go for one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, I guess. Dark Moon has gotten the short shaft there, I'm afraid. You're not going to be... Well, okay, we've got uh, an extra one there. I'll get another as well. We can actually easily afford it, so might as well. But what we might not be able to afford is all of these ships entering our success. service. Uh, ship upgrade costs are down. That's good. Army upkeep, we could address that. Ooh, there we go. Gene modification and self-modification. Let's grab you so that we can start adjusting some of the organic pops in our empire. All right. Uh, we've got ships on their way, which is all grand. You know what we could be doing? We could be building habitats or even just colonizing some of the the planets that are within our territory. Or we could be going to war, which is ultimately what I meant to do this entire episode. I do want to crush this last remaining complete. creature before we uh, go to war, though. Uh, another, another place is being pushed away from us. The flak battery has been researched, however, which is really, really good. We can upgrade that. Uh, military station build costs and military station health could be upgraded. Mm. It's not particularly high on my list of things I need right now. However, I wouldn't mind Durasteel armor. So let's get Durasteel armor being researched. I imagine it was a couple of things got pushed back from down here, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, well, how about you get in there... You move over there. You can't build anything here. Uh, build the mining stations there, actually. And uh, we are receiving transmission from the independent space station of the curator Alpha Enclave. They appear to have successfully translated our language. Well met, explorers. You are speaking to the curator Alpha Enclave. Perhaps you are already familiar with the tenants of our ancient order. Like our esteemed colleagues in the other curator enclaves, we are willing to trade, provided that you can meet our requirements. Uh, okay, well, I'm thinking we might want to go ahead with that shortly. Is there anything around here we can hook up to? Any more minerals? There, no, there kind of are a couple, but nothing immediately pressing for us to grab. I really wouldn't mind dropping down a... Uh, Frontier outpost around here. Right, how about we get you to take care of this for me? Go ahead. And research this. If you'd be so kind. Construction complete. Move into position and we can research. There we go. And a new tradition. Marvelous. Okay, so subject opinion increased by 20 and trust cap increased by 50. Uh, that isn't immediately useful to us, so we'll go with this one instead, because we'll get a little bit more out of it. Right, how much more? We're already over our capacity. How many more are you building? Mm, no, you're not building any more of those. We need to deal with some stuff first. So we're going to allow the fleet to convene, and then we're going to make our attack. Down around here. I don't think there's anything else. A small, short-range transmitter has been located on the surface of Fudiri 3. It appears to be an ancient survey marker placed here eons ago to mark a large deposit of precious metals. The m miners it was meant for have evidently never arrived as the deposit is still there. Fascinating. Right. You go ahead, find somewhere, curl up. And save you, actually. And as for our science ship... You know, who does not have anyone producing that? Oh, my lord, there's so much I need to do with this system. Planet Summary. Yeah, you're not producing much, nor are you realistically. You are, however, and you do not have a science ship orbiting you. Please go there and assist research for now until I have something more important for you to be doing. All right, let's get in there finally and finish off what remains of this entity. Uh, there is unemployment. We will deal with that shortly. 
First, I want to have this fight, and then with this entire system free for us to explore. In fact, actually, you may as well come over here. Because I can't imagine we're going to fail this fight. We're finally going to put to bed this crystalline entity. It has been a long time coming, I must say. Let's let you get in close Hostile and engage. There we are. In fact, let's have a nice, nice good look at this. Fighters are already in position. Are those, are those missiles? Oh, they're swarm missiles. Right. Okay, they're not fighters at all. Uh, how is this fight going down? Shouldn't be much against us, honestly. I mean, it's probably going to be able to crack a couple of my ships. But largely, I imagine it's just going to melt beneath the, um, the enormous amount of firepower we're sending its way. That's actually quite pretty. Very pretty indeed. The ships taking up position, just bombarding it. I approve. Though, there's a part of me that wonders if perhaps we shouldn't preserve this knowledge somehow. It feels as though we, we've just taken some knowledge out of the universe. Hmm. That's something that we're going to have to ponder at length. Uh, let's have a quick look. We lost nothing. We lost no ships whatsoever, and the crystal Nidus has been eliminated. Oh well. Alright, let's get uh, our ships back to base. Hopefully. Uh, it doesn't seem to want to let me do that, but okay. Uh, let's head back in. There we go. Head back, and the science ship can finally look over this system now this one has got so many planetary bodies imagine if we can if we can actually colonize this system i will i'm tempted to at the very least simply because it would uh, allow us to build so many habitats that would be a huge benefit for our empire right well that's going to be the end of this episode we have finally cleared out all of the hostile aliens in our area we've got a little bit down there we can also deal with but uh for the most part i'm pretty happy with what we've managed in the next episode at the very beginning to make sure i don't get distracted we're going to be going to war i hope you're looking forward to that though and will be joining me for that episode but until then and as always do take care everyone